Hello, I'm Arjen, the common sense quantum physicist. My goal is to bring quantum mechanics nearer to intuition. As an introduction, we'll look at the characteristic property of light, the polarization. Light may be polarized in some cases, that means that it can take a characteristic orientation. For example, the sunlight reflected from this surface, this table, is polarized in such a way that it is filtered by these sunglasses if I wear them horizontally on my nose. If I turn my head, I am dazzled by the reflected light. So how could we explain this? Firstly we need to know that there's a little Polaroid, Polaroid film deposited on these sunglasses. A Polaroid film is in fact a bunch of molecules that are arranged parallelly on the spectacles. Secondly, we take advantage of a scientific representation of light. Light is composed of tiny particles that we call photons. In quantum physics, photon, a photon is represented by a little spinning arrow. You see this arrow? Well, this is a photon. One way to understand light is then to visualize it as a flux of little spinning arrows guided by a wave. When an arrow bounces from a reflecting surface, it affects its spinning direction. Before the reflection, the arrow is spinning in a random direction. The reflecting surface then rearranges that direction in a definite spinning direction. And of course, the Polaroid film of the sunglasses filters the photons depending on their spinning direction. Let us simulate this Polaroid filtering with ordinary objects. Firstly, we have this safety barrier that represents the Polaroid film on the sunglasses. Secondly, we have this rotating rod. You see, you can rotate it. And if the, the rod is spinning perpendicularly to the rails of the barrier, it will ne nearly never pass the grid. This is perpendicularly. When I throw it parallelly to the bars, there's a much higher probability that it passes through the barrier. And if it's spinning in any other direction, it is just a matter of probability. So this experiment learns us two important things about the behavior of the particles composing light. Firstly, a photon is represented by a rotating arrow. The photon is the prototype of all quantum particles. In fact, it is the simplest of all quantum particles. Well, in ordinary classical mechanics, particles are represented by points or spherical objects like bullets or marbles. In quantum mechanics, the objects are represented by rotating arrows or ball pens or baseball bats. Scientists say vectors. This constitutes the core of quantum mechanics. A very famous physicist, Richard Feynman, once presented quantum mechanics as the science of drawing arrows. You'll find that in this very clear presentation 
of quantum electrodynamics. It states, all we do is draw arrows, that's all. The second important thing that we learn through this experiment is that quantum measurements are a matter of probability. The quantum rules do not give certainty about the result of an experiment. Quantum mechanics only give odds about measurements under given conditions. So remember these two important facts when dealing with light. First, photons are best represented by little arrows and second, measurement on these arrows are a matter of probability. Next time we'll look at how we may characterize the physics of quantum particles.